Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. In today's video, I want to show you how you can use frames in Canva. We're going to use them both in still images and also in video images. So you can use some, there's some really creative things that you can do with the frames in Canva. And you can export those and use those in your video or use them in your social media. But let's dive into Canva and have a look. This is an example of what I've actually done so far. I'm going to just change the size so it fits a little bit better on the screen. Right, here we go. So what we've done, if you come into Canva, you choose the size of the image that you want to create. I can't remember what size this one is. I think this one's a, a Facebook header. Um, I just wanted to choose this because it took up most space to be able to show you and demonstrate what it is we're actually doing here. What we're doing, I don't know if you notice that this image, it goes across these three elements. So if I create a new element, I'll show you how exactly we created that. But if you come into frames, you've got all these different frames that you can use. And what they do, what the frame does is it allows you to put an image just cut out in that shape. So you've got all kinds of shapes here. You've got even the alphabet as well. So you'll see as I scroll, if I show you further down, what I've done is I've done my name. Now, you might be thinking all you need to do is just put, you know, the frames on there that you want and then that's it. So let's just do that. Let's do a couple of these. If we add them on just like this. And then if we go to photos and recently used, if I go to my recently used ones, then the one that I was going to use is not actually there, but never mind. I can use this one. So if I choose this, you can see if I just put that in there, it doesn't actually, each one of them is exactly the same. So it's not really doing the effect where it looks like it's stretched across all of the screens. It's going to take a drink. Bit of a dry throat today. So what we're going to want to do in this, in order to make it look like it's stretched across those three screens, is you double click on it and you make sure your image covers the three elements. Now you can make it just fit, you can make it slightly bigger, you know, if I wanted, you can see on these here, it doesn't quite cover the, the baseline that I want it to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that the frame, click done, and then I'm going to delete these. And then I'm going to copy this one and paste it and paste again. And now where we've resized that image, what we need to do now is we need to just bring that over and line that up. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're not they're not exactly next to each other. Um, if you are overlapping, you need to little, be a little bit more precise, but where you've got a little bit of a gap in between, you don't need to be exact. So you're lining it up, you're double clicking on it, and then do the same for this one. And you do that. And that there is what it looks like. That's the effect you have. You can see it's slightly better here. It's good way you have some kind of overlap between the frames um, and I've done that as well in this one here is I've chosen a couple of different um, frames. I've got a circle frame and then I've got a um, kind of like a wavy outline frame and all I've done in order to get the black outline is I just copied it um, so if you click on it, if you copy and paste 
that gives you that element and you can just come up and you can change the color to give yourself a little bit of shadow you can go for gray if you want to give yourself a gray shadow and you just make that a little bit bigger so it covers it and then you just change the position so and to move it backwards and that's how you then get the outline around these but it kind of gives you that feeling of you've got more there's more to the image than you first see and it's not just on one screen now what you can do I've got background in these however you can delete the background as a trans and you, you can remove that and have it as a transparent background and upload that and add that into your videos so frames is really good if you want to do a uh, a, a video demonstration of something so if I wanted to have at the side of me right now if I wanted to have uh, a video pop up and demonstrate exactly what the phone or what, what I'm doing in the phone so I can record my phone screen and scroll around demonstrate a product and then I can actually put that inside the phone template and it looks like it's the actual phone with the outside of it it just gives you, you just gives your video a little bit more depth i think and you can do that you can do the, the computer screen so right now if i wanted to put this screen recording in a video i could do right there and the other thing is the pubs are open um it's been a little bit of a crazy weekend here the pubs have been reopened some good some not so good I, things have happened but i thought this is a really good one um so i thought i'd create a little image just to kind of demonstrate that you know we're back the pubs are open we've missed you too stay alert book before you visit and these are all elements that you can get in canva so this one here you might think well that's just one single image but it's not what this is is actually a couple of images that I put together because I wanted more to the image than this so I can then just line them up take your time lining them up so yeah that's that's how you can use it in still images and also as I say what I did is I did my name this one demonstrates it a little bit better I think as well let's look at video so we'll skip that video because that's not did i do that in a video yes this is a video so let me show you this one oh, i think it's going to play yep it's just taking a few moments to load the jitteriness is just my system loading but there you go gives you the you know the idea that she's the, the person is walking across from one screen to the next here's another one with the time-lapse and it just gives you that impression and you'll notice what I've actually done is I've lined it up with the background as well a little bit we'll come on to that one in a second obviously you'll want to subscribe but what I've done with this one is I took the image oops and I made sure it filled the whole screen and then what I did is I added it to the background as well but you see the background slightly faded out what I did there is I came down to my elements and I just added a gray square over the background so you'll see here and then I've just reduced the transparency so that's all that is is I drew a square over the background and then reduce the transparency so it kind of gives it a little bit more depth it, you can see the whole screen there but it kind of gives you a little bit more depth um, on that as well so yeah the one more one last thing that i need to mention if you're creating multiple ones like this like i have if you normally if you download it'll 
put it all in a zip file for you. However, when you download when you've got multiple movies or multiple ones like this, it'll download it as a, um, a video for you and it'll play one screen after the next. And that's pretty much how you create animations is you can link the screen. So if I wanted to have multiple screens playing one after the other, I'd just do that. I can create several pages and have them playing um, one after the other and that creates one long mp4 file however if i just want to download just one screen so let's just say i wanted to just download screen page seven so let's download page seven and there you go that's how you can use frames in canva and I, I think this is a really great technique I look forward to seeing some of your creations. If you're tagging me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, any of those, let me know what you're creating. I'd love to see your creations. But until next time, bye for now.